So I'm going to show you uh, how to install um, DNS service on Windows 2016 um, uh, server. Uh, we have two options of uh, doing this. Uh, one is um, uh, one is a PowerShell, so um, uh, I could use this uh, command, which is presented here: install Windows features uh, minus name uh, DNS, include all sub features, include management tools, or we could um, install it um, using. Um, uh, GUI. Uh, I'll, I'm going to show you uh, both uh, options um, how we can perform this. So, um, as uh, in as uh, in previous video, uh, we have um, installed two servers in Google Cloud, and um, we are going to use them to build our Active Directory lab. On this is zero one. I'm going to have DNS service, and later on I will install. Um, uh, uh, Active Directory domain services and I have as well a member server and member server will be using DNS service on my uh, on my server. So um, uh, let's start. Uh, I'm on um, DC01. Uh, one of the options is graphical interface so uh, I'm going to server manager and the installation of uh, features start from a manage menu and add roles and features. Click next on the first screen. Uh, I'm going to perform a role-based um, uh, or feature-based installation. Uh, click next. Um, I'm selecting the server at the moment. It's just only one server, so this is the server I'm going to uh, install to. Uh, I could have uh, multiple servers uh, added here, and I could, uh, using Server Manager, install feature on uh, on a different server in my network. So I click next. And here I'm going to uh, select role, which will be added to the server. In this case, it's going to be a DNS, and I'm going to add all additional features what uh, Wizard is uh, uh, proposing. Now I'm getting a warning here. Uh, I'm getting a warning saying that this DNS server has no static IP. Now the uh, IP address uh, on my server is configured automatically uh, by the network. However, I've set up reservation, so I've configured DC01 to obtain a static IP uh, from the network provider, so I can ignore this. Uh, and this warning, I know that my server every time when it will start, it's going to have an internal um, IP uh, the same, so other servers will be able to connect to it. So I'm clicking continue. I can click next. Uh, I'm not adding anything here. I can click next, next, and um, and install. Um, after installation of this feature, uh, restart of the uh, server is not required, so I will be able to uh, start using uh, this server uh, straight away. We can uh, can wait a moment. Uh, the installation will be uh, installation will be pretty quick. After installation, under uh, Tools menu, I'm going to have um, uh, tools uh, in, which are used to manage DNS. Okay, installation has finished. I'm clicking close. And please have a look in tools. I have a new link here, which is DNS, and also in the server manager, I have new link uh, which is going to show me all DNS servers visible in my infrastructure. At the moment, is uh, just only one. So what I'm going to do, I click tools and DNS. Uh, I'm connected at the moment uh, just to to one server. Uh, I have various containers here. Uh, I'm going to change my view to advanced view because uh, with advanced view I have cache lookups and uh, under the cache lookups I will be able to see all the sites, all the, uh, all the services which has been resolved by uh, my uh, DNS server. I can assume at the moment uh, that my DNS server is working. Uh, I could uh, do a very brief test. Um, so I'm going to do, I'll go to command prompt. Let me change to use a little bit bigger fonts. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, use NSLOOKUP. Right. Now, uh, what happened, uh, NSLOOKUP command uh, connected itself to a DNS server which is configured on the server uh, by default. And this is a um, DNS server from Google, from Google provider. 
so uh, obviously I want to use my own server as a DNS server. So in NSLOOKUP I'll change um, uh, I'll change to which server I'm connecting here. So I'll change the server. 127001. So I'm connecting to myself. And I will try to uh, resolve um, uh, the address. For example, www.rte.ie. And uh, we can see that uh, name has been resolved. Um, so NSLOOKUP uh, connecting to my own server was able to find uh, IP addresses for rte.ie. Now, however, we have noticed one thing, uh, that by default, my machine is connecting to a completely different DNS server. If I want to use um, this machine later on as, um, uh, as a DNS for Active Directory, I have to make a, a one additional change. So I'm going here to uh, Network Interface, and I can click my interface, go to Properties, and uh, Internal Protocol version 4 in the Properties, I will configure myself as a DNS server. So on Domain Controller, I'm going to configure myself as a DNS, 1, 2, 7, 0, 0. Zero 01 and from now on I'm going to use my own DNS server for all the name resolutions what I'm going to do. Uh, for the moment um, the server cannot connect to the internet we just uh, we can wait a moment. Um, when I start uh, Internet Explorer at the moment I would be able to connect to the to the internet. Okay. So uh, let's try again. I will exit NS Lookup, and when I get again, I'm connecting to my own uh, to my own server. And every single lookup here. So, for example, if we go to www.dnzit.com, we get a resolution, and uh, it was from our own server. To exit. Uh, in uh, our uh, DNS manager, I just refresh that for a moment, and I can see I had a few different resolutions. So I had DMZIT, uh, I had RTE.ie resolved here, and so on. So all those elements are stored here in the cached lookups. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, how can we install um, DNS service um, using PowerShell? Um, so go to PowerShell and um, start it as administrator. Okay. Uh, PowerShell usually give me um, a quicker uh, way to install um, uh, various different Windows components, particularly when I have to install it on uh, multiple servers. Uh, we can script it, so um, it is worth to uh, use, um, use it quite often in administration tasks. So what I'm going to do to install a um, feature, install this command install Windows feature. I specify name, in this case it will be DNS, and I'm going to include all sub features and I'm going to include um, management tools. So with this command, we'll install DNS with everything what it, um, what required for um, using it. Enter. So it first uh, will analyze prerequisites. We most likely get um, get a warning about the static uh, IP address um, because we don't have a static IP. It's uh, uh, assigned by uh, by the network by DHCP server, so it's configured automatically. So installation have started. Um, yep, we got uh, we got a warning. Yes, the following recommendation is not met, so we don't have static IP. However, we know. Uh, virtual machine in uh, Google, we specify a static IP. So this is um, uh, how we install um, DNS um, using PowerShell. Uh, let me go back to Server Manager and go to tools. Let me refresh the Server Manager after installation. Okay, DNS have appeared here. You can go to tools, DNS, and exactly the same. I have DNS service. Um, all the elements are here. I can enable advanced feature to see cache lookups. And um, let's try 
how it works with NSLOOKUP. So I'm connected to local machine and let's try to um, resolve something. So um, let's say I will go to www.com. Yep, I got resolution, www. Microsoft.com. I'm getting resolution as well. Okay, perfect. So uh, this is how we can uh, perform installation of um, DNS service using um, PowerShell.